this is essentially a channel for my music, but I just happen to be fond of watches as well. If you would be so kind and give some of my songs a listen, it would be much appreciated. Let's take a look at the watch. Let's start with the specs. It has a case size of 34 millimeters, a case height of 9 millimeters, which makes it versatile, sleek, and super comfortable. The crystal is mere plexiglass, which do scratch, especially if you bang around your watch occasionally. But if you don't, this should not be an issue. Water resistance is only down to 30 meters, so you will not be able to submerge the wash into water. It's a hand wrap movement and has a power reserve of 38 hours, so you will have to wind it every day, but just give it about 12 to 18 winds a day in the morning and it should be more than fine. The watch runs approximately plus minus 12 to 30 seconds a day. In my experience, it really shouldn't be more than 8 to 20 seconds a day. Let's talk about the movement. It's a modified ETA 2824. I'm not sure what modifications have been made to the movement, but it's considered an in-house movement. It has a heart rate of 4 beats per second, which gives it these beautiful almost semi sweeps. It hacks and has a 30 hour power reserve, so you will have to wind it every day. But just give it approximately 12 to 18 winds a day in the morning and it should be more than fine. The watch runs approximately plus minus 12 to 30 seconds a day. In my experience, it's only 6 to 20 seconds. Let's talk about the dial, which is the biggest selling point of the watch. The design choice with the Arabic numerals was Maxville's favorite iteration of the watch. It's designed using the Johans Classic Clockworks, which was a very popular item when it was released in the 60s. The dial has a silver color, which changes depending on the light from silvery to white. It almost has a shimmering effect, but without losing its elements. The dial is curved, which gives the illusion of giving the watch a lot of space. The hands features a pencil style second minute and hour ends, which also contains super luminova. There's also a pivot room of each of the quarter markings. This all creates a very unique dial experience. It's known for true Bauhaus design aesthetics. The question is whether they actually follow the philosophy of the design approach. Bauhaus states that form should follow function and you should change people's lives through design. It only has 30 meter of water resistance, so it's theoretically not protected by rain. And which in today's world when people bicycle, take the bus and go out for walks should be 50 meter of water resistance. The additional $200 for a sapphire glass is also a bit steep and it does not have drill lock holes for easy strap change. In spite of these shortcomings, I do still believe it's a great watch. I hope you enjoyed the video and again, this is mainly for fun, music is my main passion and I hope you give some of my songs a listen. Appreciate it, thank you.